Hi, as we have already seen the basic implementation of HTML, now it's time to learn the new semantics which are provided by HTML5. So basically when I talk about the new semantics, here HTML5 will give you so many new semantics or tags which will make your web page looks more clear. When I say web page, I mean the code part where you will write the HTML. Because here you have a so many new tags which will give you the location, which will give you very clear idea about the different parts of the web page. Like the main area where you're going to put a content, the section if you want to create some small section for this individual text or image or anything, article, header footer for the top and the bottom, a side if you want to put anything on the side of your web page, uh, navigation means nav tag for putting the navigation elements out there, figure if you want to put some image or drawing con concepts out there, menu, site. So you can see every different uh, segment of the web page has a new semantic. So when you will use all these semantics, it will give your web page means your HTML look more easy to understand. So let's get start with the basic implementation of these new semantics in HTML5. So now as far as the new semantics are concerned, here is what we can get so many. So like we'll start with the basic HTML tag as usual, the head meta tag for the information. We have already discussed about the meta tag in the HTML video. If you don't have the idea, you can watch there. Uh, similarly, we have the title tag. Then inside the body, I'll start with the new semantics out there. So we'll start with the header. All right. So header is something which will be on the top of the page. So in the header section, you can make it a clear like you can put all the clear things, whether you want to put some images in the header or any heading. You can just create this section called header and you can put anything which you want to put out there. So the role is banner like it will be working for banner. As I said, you can put the images as well because inside the header, I'm putting the normal HTML tags. So it is the H1 and paragraph, which we have put it inside. Right after the header, I have placed another section, another segment here called the nav. As the name suggests, it will be for the navigation. So I have taken the UL tag that is the unordered list and inside each list element that is list item that is li I have placed the hyper references and here are the three links that is the HTML tutorial CSS tutorial and JavaScript tutorial so you can put the exact URL out here like this and when you will be clicking on this tutorial links, you will be there. All right. Similarly, you can put any particular link as per your choice. Now, the next is the article where you can put this section inside it. Like you want to put multiple things out there. You can put multiple sections out there. All right. Like once an article can have multiple sections. So this is the only section out here, right? Similarly, you can have create another section out there. Like, let me do that. just another section all right so this is the section out there and you can put inside the article now you can see it is very clear what you want to do at a particular time all right so the readability out there with the html semantic html5 semantics will be far more clear aside this is the it, this one is the smaller text which you can put on a particular uh, location of your page Similarly, if you want to put some figures, you can put the figure tag and inside that you can put a list of all the images you want to show. Here, I have just placed a single one that is the tutorials point logo out there. If the image for some reasons will not appear, this is the text which will be at that particular location. And similarly, as my page will start with the header, it may be ended with the footer. So here is the footer created by tutorials point again if you want to put a link out there all right just like i'll be putting the location of my home page all right so this tutorials point.com so let me save this particular page and whatever the changes are there will should be reflected out there in the browser as soon as i will refresh this page all right so here is the header 
all right these two things like the heading and this paragraph was there a part of the header this is the tutorials like when you will be clicking out there you will reach the target pages all right whichever you will be putting out there in the links all right so this is how you can go there similarly just uh, these are the section things all right this is the article and there are two articles in this particular section there are two sections in this particular article now this is the smaller text aside you can put it on alignment right or left as i have done it for the image this is the figure tag where i place the image and this is the footer section all right as soon as you will click out there you will be redirected to the tutorialspoint.com so this is how you can structure your web page using the html5 which will give you a much readable and clear code in the notepad or notepad++ that is in your editor tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning